Hi everybody. It is Carla. This is Crafting with Carla and welcome. I'm going to make some dominoes and I'm going to do these without any tricks or little magic ponies, nothing like that. We're just going to do a fast, easy domino set. I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use Nick Pro Pink. I'm going to use the May Springs Opulent Tanzanite. These are my colors I want to use. And uh, this is going to be really simple. This is going to be the simplest way I know how to make them. Um, hopefully what I'm going to be able to show you is that you can make these without having to color in the dots afterwards, which is my hardest thing, um, getting the right technique. Because if you only make these once in a while, it's kind of like, well, kind of hard. So. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some of this Nick Pro pink because I like a pink. I'm a pink girl. I need my glasses on my eyeballs because I don't need to be looking at the ceiling through the top of my head. Oh, now I can see me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I've made it this far. I shouldn't be concerned about a few uh, war scars along the way. So what I'm going to do is I have a fluffy brush and I have my Nick Pro mica powder, which it's pink. I like it. And I'm going to do the inside of these with the pink. So once I get all of these covered on the inside with the pink, then I am going to take a wipe and I am going to go along and wipe off, off the little pokey dots and that little line in the middle. And then I'm going to fill it with the Tanzanite blue. And it's going to be that easy. Honestly, that easy. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I got these. These are the professional, the rounded edges. I got these off of Amazon. They were very good price. They were $7 or something like that. And I thought, you know what? I've made dice before twice and I've gone so over the top with decorating and all this stuff that, yeah, people want to watch me do it, but what about for those that are kind of new to resin or have never made dice before? You can, uh, you can do this. This is easy. This is easy. This is dominoes one, no, two, two, no, what is this? Dominoes one would just be putting everything in and taking a marker and filling in the dots. So this is just a slightly, this is Domino's 101.5. Cause I'm showing you my little, I don't know, this might not be, I might not be the only person that does it. I'm certainly not saying that I have discovered a new way to make a Domino's. <laughs> what should I do? Not what they say. <laughs> that shouldn't be the name of my show. Just watch what I do. Don't listen to what I say. Um, you know, you should listen to what I say. I listen to my cat. I love my cat. Oh my gosh. Harley. You know, those of you that watch me, you know that after my dog passed away, after Ripley passed away, that um, I said I really wanted an animal, but I was going to wait until I wanted a cat this time because it's you know easier cats are just easier than dogs when you're a single lady and <laughs> can't say no more <laughs> I'm sorry I laugh at myself <laughs> who else would there's nobody else here I'm a one man one man I'm a one woman comedy show <laughs> in my head <laughs> that'd be silly today Every day, feel silly. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. And so I, I, I said right on one of my videos, I said, um, I really want to get a cat. But you know what? Because I had somebody getting a cat for me and I just realized, no, it wasn't right. 
And I said, I really want a cat, but I'm going to wait for the universe to bring me the cat that I'm supposed to have. I'm not going to just go out and grab one. Even though I have seen some on the street that I've thought, hmm. No, I'm kidding. Oh my God, I don't, I don't steal cats or dogs or chickens or nothing else. Even though I would love a chicken. Oh my God. If I thought I was going to be here for another couple of years, which I don't think I can, I don't think I will. But anyway, <clears throat> if I thought I was going to be here for a couple more years, I'd get chickens. Now, are we allowed to have chickens in uh, this part of Oceanside? No. Does everybody around here have chickens? Yes. Which means enforcement is afraid to come here. <laughs> They don't come here and try to take anybody's chickens away, you know, as long as we don't have bird flu here. Maybe they're hoping it'll kill us all. Because this is prime property and uh, a lot of people that live here are generational. They've, their families have been here probably since the 50s. I know my family, even though most of my family has passed on now, my relatives have been here since the Oceanside and Carlsbad. have been here since the 50s. 60s, maybe the, six, the 60s, for sure the 60s, because uh, that's when I started making the weekly trek down here with my family to see my cousins and my aunts every weekend. My mom would fight with my dad all the way. She would say, Carl, how come we have to come down here every single weekend? They do not want to see us every single weekend. And my dad would say, shut up, Shirley. <laughs> and we'd all be sitting in the back of the station wagon. No seat belts, mind you. I used to sit in the back where I could uh, make faces at people. Uh, the, there was like a seat in the back of the station wagon. We had one station wagon. There was a seat that faced out that back window. I guess so. It's uh... anyway, no seat belts, nothing, nothing. We we would we'd be in the back and we'd be crawling over the the back seats and stuff and um, yeah. <laughs> back in those days, oh my gosh! One time, my first car was a station wagon. My family had bought a uh, station wagon from a fire department, you know, uh, automobile sale, and my dad drove it for a while and then he gave it to me and it was a valiant and it was a fast little sucker but it wasn't like a full sized you know family vacation you know what I mean like the movie station wagon it wasn't one of those it was like a shorter station wagon like what a Volvo station wagon looked like but old okay I loved it I loved it it was red when we got it and then my dad painted it white and I used to, I was just got my license. I was 16 years old and I loaded up my siblings, all three of them with their friends and no seat belts. And every inch of that car was packed with kids <laughs> and we were driving on coast highway and, um, car in front of me stopped really fast and I slammed on my brakes. The car behind hit us and kids were just flying around the car. <laughs> These days, they would put you in jail for that kind of thing. And when I was uh, younger, that was just life, you know. Seat belts, good Lord, nobody wore only. Nobody did. I don't even think we had seat belts until the 70s. Like they were like, okay, seat belts are not mandatory. You have to wear a seat belt. My cat's like, who is she talking to? Okay, here we go. <gasps> I'm going to go like this. And now I'm watching <laughs> pink dust glitter underneath the lamps. Okay, so there, that's part one. Here we go. I have my baby wipes. I didn't mix up my resin yet because even though it would have been faster, I want to make sure 
I cut my finger with a knife and then I cut it open again this morning with this getting cereal out of a bag. Yeah. Blood everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I, I stick my hand in the cereal box because I, I was just eating dry. I don't know. It's this weird cereal called Magic Spoon. Has nothing in it. I don't know what they make it out of, but no sugar, no added nothing. So I don't know. Anyway, stick my hand in there to get a little bit of this. They're little balls too. And all of a sudden I'm like, ow! I pull my hand out and I broke my boo boo. I broke my boo boo open. All right, see what I'm doing here? My cat's hungry. <laughs> I got some di diatomaceous earth to get a, a head start on the fleas um, this season because I'm going to dump it in my carpet. And I got the food grade one and he thinks it's his food. He thinks it's kitty food. I got to tell you one thing about Harley. He eats like he's a cow, a pig. He eats so much early anyway i am just wiping off and why am i doing this you wonder plus i'm probably getting a little bit off the sides i gotta be more careful i'm gonna use q-tip i'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol on it oh you know what's weird i can put alcohol on this boo-boo and it does not hurt i'm a zombie i knew it I am going to use the Q-tip because I don't want to be knocking the stuff off of the sides. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I doing this? So when I mix up that dark resin and I pour it in here on this pink, the dark resin is going to be what you see in these little holes and then I don't have to uh, try to make where am I where am I you are here <laughs> I want that to be my new tattoo I really do I want a tattoo that says you are here because it's very not only like silly but it's also very uh, realistic. You are here. You are exactly right here, right this minute. So it's, it'll be like a reminder, like, live in, live in this minute. It's not going to look like this. I always just put it on there to see if I would like it. And I feel kind of badass <laughs> with magic marker. <laughs> I'm badass. I'm badass. I just realized that's my Batman voice. <laughs> I use that. That voice comes out of my mouth a lot. And I just realized that's that's Batman. <laughs> I didn't know he even lived here. Anyway. Yeah, I think I might do that. Get some really beautiful script and just have it be or real simple. Like when you go to the mall. You see those signs that say you are here? I've always loved that. I've always gone and I've looked to see where am I? I'm here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I'm sure I tell you that more than you want to hear, but I do. I love you guys so much. And I want to welcome everybody that's new and um You've got me on a on a very uh, I'm not manic, <laughs> so I say to myself every minute, I'm not manic. I am just I'm in a really good mood and um going with the flow. Let me get all these little pink things off. I can't tell. I gotta look. I gotta look like this. I still can't tell. Lord. Yeah, I just feel, I, I just, uh, yeah. 
am a silly person. And not only that, I don't know, I just feel so um, free to be myself on this channel because I can see, cannot see anybody's reactions. If you guys were sitting here with me, I'd probably be looking at you like, oh no, are they looking at me like, are they looking at each other side-eyed? Hmm, what's she doing? They'll be like, I don't know, she's your friend. Tell me if you're, oh no, I got too much on this. Okay, I'm almost done, you guys. Seriously, that's how fast these go. And uh, I will finish getting the pink off of these little balls and the little lines. Then I'm going to mix up my resin, dump my resin in, come back when they're done, and open them. I'm not going to dump the resin. I'm going to fill it up gently and carefully so that I don't have to put a backing on them. I want these to be fast. So the more careful I am, um, filling them, then the better that will be. So I'm going to finish clearing off these dots. You don't need to watch me do this part. I'm almost done, but I'm going to finish clearing them off. I still have quite a bit to go. These remind me of those candies that are on those papers. I love candy dots because they're pure sugar. Who can't love them? I mean, guys, you can put them in your coffee, you put them on your cereal. You just have to peel them off one at a time. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. I'll be right back. And then I'll, I'll fill them up. And then, oh, before I get, yeah, no, I'll tell you that when I get back. Okay. Didn't stop. <laughs> Still didn't stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm back and I've mixed up 10 ounces of resin actually probably should have mixed up a little bit more darn it I wasn't thinking uh, I measured out the individual dice what dice I always do that dice and dominoes for God's sakes when I look at the top of a dice, I see the six or I see the two, you know, it's like arriba. These are dominoes. And uh, I measured out alcohol into one, one of the cavities and it came out to be uh, 10 grams. And then I wanted to make, uh, oh, so I guess I did okay, not too bad. Um, 10 grams, but I need my Q-tip. Oh, hold on one second. I can't think of math and uh, remember what I was doing here. <laughs> this is not going to be the end of the world if one of the dots doesn't get filled in or cleared off so you can see what color it is. Oh, whatever, 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 whatever. What was I saying? Um, oh, I put in the alcohol. It weighed 10 grams for one of these little uh, dominoes. And so then I times it by 28 because there's 28 spaces, dominoes, and it's 280 grams. So then I reverted that to ounces because that's what I work <laughs> with. So my brain is comfortable with. 9.9 .9 ounces. I was going to do 300 grams, which would have been 10 and a half ounces, but I don't. I think I pretty much did 10 ounces. So we'll see what happens here. Well, that was a long time to just say, I hope I made enough. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I thought I may have um, resined my lid onto my, my May Springs opulent. Tanzanite. Opulent Tanzanite. 
Yeah, ooh, it's a pretty dark blue. It's like a navy blue. Mm. It is navy blue. It's very pretty. I like it. It's my black. It's my black. So, I guess I should measure this so that it's clear what I'm doing. I have now I have about 10 ounces in this cup because probably some of it got mixed up in my I have the um resin ears nope <laughs> oops bite your tongue i have the let's resin mixer so there's i try to get it all off of there but it doesn't always work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in one scoop that looks like about a third of a teaspoon scoop. I can already tell I'm going to need more, even though it's not even started to mix, but oh yeah, I'm going to need more. Yeah, I tried to blow out all the red leftover pink because uh, people that play dominoes, you know, if there's like pink lines on some of them, then they'll know which ones those are. And I guess you're not supposed to know. I don't really play dominoes. I like them though. I think they're cool. All right. I just want to be sure that this has enough. So I'm going to put in a, I guess you would call it a scant spoon. You see there's a hole there. And the lid. And the lid goes to this jar. All right. <laughs> I got everything in my face here. Oh, it's so pretty. See that blue? Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to put glitter in here. I think I'm just going to let this stand just because I really want this to be quick and easy. Uh, you could put glitter. I could put glitter. I do have this. Um, this is what I call sweep, <laughs> sweep glitter because this is the glitter that uh, when I make stuff, I do it in like a paper and then I put it all in a jar. That's what this is. So uh, this is my own custom blend. <laughs> oh yes, this is my own custom blend. It's called Allo Trash. <laughs> Even I'm joking on that one. <clears throat> I don't know if I put these in here. I don't know. When in doubt, try it. Take a little bit and see what's going on here. What will happen if I do that? Besides, <laughs> it makes my heart sing beautiful notes because I love glitter. Oh, I, I just have to do it. You don't have to. Uh, if you're a professional domino player, you might not want to. As a matter of fact, uh, you... I've got too much time on your hands. Can you make money playing dominoes? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a retiree's dream. I'm a domino shark. What do you do for a living? I'm a domino shark. I'm putting in two capsules. Um, I said I wasn't going to use glitter. And then when I changed my mind, I changed it. Ooh. It's like the Milky Way. I think it'll just give it a little interest, so I think that's okay. It's about 70 degrees outside here today, so it's kind of nice in here for a change. Um, the, the resin was still a little um, sluggish, you know, when I poured it because it's been um, 
cold is not cold. It's been like, is there a spider living in that cup? Is that just a hair? Um, uh, yes, Carla, there's a big old hairy rabbit living in there. I wish. I wish rabbits were that small like that. I'd have millions of them. I'd have a, instead of a flea circus, I'd have a miniature rabbit circus. I wonder who ever came up with that weird thing about, uh, it's a flea circus. What on earth? Was there a reference for that? Their roommate have a lot of fleas or something? Their spouse? They see him jumping and they start thinking like, Oh, those fleas look like they're on a trampoline. That's a little flea circus. And I'm sure they use that voice. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh Got to fix my little pink mark there. I have a mark. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Real, real quick. Where's this brush? I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. I put a mark in it. Okay, anywhere else? All right, there we go. There we go. Let me uh, blow that out real quick. Any extra? I wonder I'm coughing today. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I put it in a little extra, a little bit different cup here. That I have a little bit more um, control. Uh, it's kind of funky looking. A little bit more control to pour these. And then let me get this out of the way. Get this up here where you can see. Maybe get that like that. You can see what I'm doing. That's too bright. Okay, whatever. I use this. Here we go. And I am going to just pinch the lid and I'm going to hold it up a little bit and I'm going to fill this one almost to the top. I'm going to come back with a little spoopsy spongy thing, a spongy, sucky thing, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. What do you call those things? Pipettes, like a pipette thing. And I'm going to come right to the top on these so that we have beautiful rounded top. So basically I'm just using this tongue depressor, popsicle stick, wooden fort building tool um, to catch the drips. And I'm going to refill my cup. I missed a drip right there. So let me put that down. And then we, oopsies, nope. I refill the cup. It just makes it a lot easier than trying to deal with this big purple cup. Cup might be good for parties, but it's not good for pouring. La -dee -da, la -dee -da. Uh, I hope everybody is uh, doing okay. I hope that the weather where you are is calmed down. We're at, we had a beautiful day here today. Woof, I tell you. Wow. We're getting ready for some rain on Monday and Tuesday, um, which I'm okay. 
I, I don't mind at all these two day bouts of rain. Matter of fact, I really like them. But two days is good because then you get time to get your um, <sighs> everything dried up again before the next storm comes in. Oopsies, I'm dripping. Drop drips, drop drips. I'm trying not to drip. Doesn't mean I can do it though. All right, here we go. Can you all see what I'm doing? I gotta use my other hand probably. I will switch my hand with the next one. I think it makes it easier for you to see from this angle. See, this is fast, this is easy. And I mean, sure, once, but I, I think that I wish I had started out with something like this and then moved on to the, you know, a little more complicated designs, whatever. But if wishes were horses, then the, the, this the business is, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is if wishes were horses, everybody would have to buy a lot of horse food. A settled saying, if wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. Which means... It's, it's not complimentary to people without money. That's what it is. It's a terrible saying, actually. People don't beg unless they need help. Well, that's not true. There's people on the sides of the freeways that beg because I've seen things. Well, I've seen myself, like uh, people standing in the parking lot and the guy I'll be playing the violin. And you know what? I used to play the violin. So I see this guy standing there, you know, fiddling away, playing this beautiful song. And people are like, oh, it's so pretty. And of course, you know, he's got a wife and a couple kids and they're standing there collecting money. I guarantee you. I would bet everything in my life that the guy was not actually playing the violin. He had a speaker playing because he was playing a, probably like Isaac Stern, like one of the best violinists in the world. That's when people were like, wow. And I look at, I looked at the guy, I'm like, you're not even playing that. That's, you're faking it. I know how to play a violin and that's not the way you do it. Okay, so I will have to make some more resin. That's all right. I measured it out. I thought that I knew what I was doing, but between the resin, I think that stays on the paddle and in the cups and all of that, I'm short, but tall. Short but tall. All right, well, I'm glad I'm. And so now, oh boy, I'm, I. It's okay. That's all right, y'all. I'll pause you while I mix up a little bit more of the resin. I only have to fill three more, but I do have to go by and, and, and make sure that, um, ooh, get it, make sure that they all have enough and also go through and take out like any of them where the little like silver thing is raising up. Oh, I'm not going to give these to anybody. I don't have to do that. Oh, I'm going to boo-boo. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, my gloves are a little sticky. I hate to touch my camera, but I need to. Okay. 
Alrighty then. I don't need this brush anymore. Let me just uh, move some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> Got some navy blue stuff going on there. I need this. Let me put on some... No, I don't need new gloves. I need to... I've got to get a new spray bottle for my alcohol. The alcohol chewed on the... Chewed. <laughs> the alcohol destroyed the little squirt thing so that it just plops out instead of sprays in a fine mist. It just goes... <laughs> All right, guys. I made another four ounces. I put two ounces in here. I, I, I went a little over four. So, oh, and I, let me finish this one. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell the difference in these. And so, yeah, this will work. I'm going to, in one second here, I'm going to take one of those pipettes <clears throat> because since I organized my stuff, I don't know where my little squirt bottles are. <laughs> I don't know where I put them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipette and I think these make me crazy with... Oh, what was in there? Oh, the alcohol was in there, so it'll be okay. I always like to like cut off the end of it. Not too, too much, but just enough that then I can pull this up in here faster. I don't have to sit and wait forever and ever and ever. And what I'm going to do now is top these off. Now, does that have a bubble or is that a glitter? All right. Just real quick, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have any space to put anything. Getting a little frustrated. All right. Oh, I've, I've got to be careful when I do this. I do not want to wipe off the pink because then it won't be pretty. I just want to make sure there's no bubbles on the edges here before I go ahead and top these off. Be easier to do that now. That's like a little bubble right there. There's a little bubble right there. Okay. I think. Uh, sorry, y'all. This takes, this is, this is, well, I'm not sorry. This is what takes a while when you do resin is make sure you get the bubbles and i will probably bring the heat gun over to it uh, all right here we go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just top off each one of these to where oh i see a bubble but that's okay i'm just going to put enough in here to bring it to where when it shrinks Where's my toothpick? I need a toothpick or a stick stick. Mm. Kind of bring it over the top just a little bit. Just enough that you, um, if it shrinks, it will still be above the edge just enough that, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. When resin dries, it shrinks a little bit. <laughs> I wish that was true for me. I would just be in and out of the shower all day long. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta get dried off so I can shrink a little bit. But when it shrinks a little bit, if you don't have it right at the top, maybe even just a little bit over, it goes down under a little bit and it makes rough edges and then you have to put a top coat on and I don't want to have to put a top coat on these. I want I want to take my time with this part 
so that I don't have to take my time to try to put on perfect top coat. Yeah, that's the point. Oh, there's a big old bubble coming out of there, huh? Hi, bubble. Yep, you want to get these like to the top. And you can pour it in, but sometimes if you're pouring and you're not like dribbling like this, like this is the easiest way. It takes a little bit of time, but it saves you time too. So yeah, saves you time at the same time. I'm using Let's Resin Resin right now. And um, oh yeah, you can see, see that moon to the side while I'm doing this, I'll tell you about that. That moon I did with the Let's Resin hand-painted resin, hand-painted epoxy resin, which I love, 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 love that stuff. Oh, please don't stop making it. Um, I just really don't think people have an idea of what you can do with that yet. Um, I mean, yeah, you can use it like regular epoxy resin, but that's not what it's made for. Um, Resin me up. She had the right idea when, on one of her projects when I first saw it. Um, where she took some chocolates that she had made out of resin and then did the white writing on it. You can take this so many other places, like this moon. I love this moon. Um, I can't wait to hang this up. It's really thin. I get, I'm going to show everybody like how I'm doing this stuff. This moon is made out of the uh, hand painted completely, except for one coat of clear uh, because I made it really thin. And then so I added some more resin to the mold so that it would be thicker. But even like this little tray, a uh, jar thing here with this little See, this is what I'm talking about. The hand, the hand painted epoxy resin. It's a two to one ratio. And uh, the stuff, oh, 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 oh. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I just stopped fiddling here. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Quit fiddling. And I love you guys, and I'll be back, and then we'll, we'll look and see how they went. <laughs> I take my glove off so I can stop my... Because I'm going to leave these alone, except for just to take the heater to them. And I love you. Oh, i got to use the rest of that resin. Almost sounded like i got to use the rest room. But I tricked you. I tricked you, right? I'm like a two-year-old, three-year-old. Oh, I trick you. You thought I was going to say restroom. God. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll be back. Oh, good. I like it better when I can't see myself very well. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Stop. Okay. Most of these are ready to come out. And I decided to just go ahead and do it right now instead of waiting, uh, just because I'm moving the microphone real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to remember to do all this stuff. Okay, so uh, most of these are ready to come out. Uh, they were on the heat mat, and so some of them that were on the ends of the heat mat, they don't get as much heat, so they were not ready, but some are and you can tell like uh, let me see if i can show you if you're new to this okay see like this one i'm pulling on the side and it's pulling the actual resin with it no bueno it's not ready this side though watch the oh that one i already, I already double checked to see if that worked but here i'll show you when you pull the side see how it pulls away then you can demold them they're going to still be soft, so you're going to have to leave them on a flat level place and not touching each other. <laughs> because otherwise you'll have Jenga dominoes or domino towers. 
because they'll stick together. So I already looked at this one, but I'll show you. These turned out more. Uh, they're pretty good. There's very little, very little, little overflow. I see just a tiny bit on there, though. Um, came out more of a mauve, which I am totally okay with. It's almost like a silvery purple color. And uh, I didn't get all of the pink out of that hole, but you can tell that that's what that is. It's the double knot. It's not knot. It's not knot. Okay. So, yeah, whenever you can pull the sides away. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, when they're this cool, uh, it's very easy to just trim up the tiny little bits that are hanging on there tiny tiny little bits but I'm not gonna have to so far not sand any of them at all but see you can tell that's the one it's a one this one's a little softer so I'm gonna start maybe not pulling any more out I did want you to see though that this is pretty much four steps. It's put the dust the insides. That's one. Uh, use a Q-tip and a little bit of rubbing alcohol to uh, clear off the dots and the lines. See how the dots are already there? We don't have to make them. Um, how'd they get a dent in it? Does that mold have a dent in it? And um, so, yeah, you, you dust them, you clear off the dots and the lines. See, there's perfection there. You don't have to do that part. And then mix up your resin and fill them up, uh, making sure that you're filling them up to the top. And that way, if you do like I did, you have these just teeny little ledges to clear off but you don't have to do the backs. They're not sharp, okay? So, yep, I'll just show you some more. As you can see how they came out. Um, when they get too soft though, I'm gonna leave them for tomorrow, but I wanna get this video up. I need to do a minimum of two a week now. So I just need to take a picture and get these posted and yeah. Uh, Okay, so let me just clear off the ones that I'm pulling out right now and um, get my little picture done. So pretty much this is, this is what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to have a simple domino that you could make these very easy and see how in a regular domino when you do them, if you don't take off the color and use a dark color behind it, you have to fill in the holes because they look naked this way. See, look, they're already done and they're kind of like silver, aren't they? Okay, now be uh, one warning, 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 warning. You do not want to leave them like this right now while they are still um, not completely cured. For the first 24 hours, do not have them, especially the raw, so the raw side like that. They will meld together and you will not be able to get them apart so uh, the part with the powder I think you'd be okay but I wouldn't do it for the first 24 hours you just want to leave them and uh, yeah I'm seeing I'm just taking a little scissors so pretty much it's four steps it's dust it's clear off the dots and the lines mix up your resin pour your resin and unmold them uh, mix and pour probably is one step. So it's like four steps. They're easy. And these would be a great like gift for somebody that you go like, look what I made for you. And because I put that glitter in there that has like the little moons and stuff, look how cute that came out. It came out kind of like little galaxies. Now, are these ready down here? All right, I'll just pull out what I can. Yeah, oh, just look how cute. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look how cute. Gonna do a little in your face focusing here so you can see. Try. 
try to. Come on. See? You can see the little stars and the little moons in there. <laughs> oh. And I didn't even do that on purpose, but man, those are cute. Okay, focus, you little twerk. Autofocus camera is like, if I feel like it, if I feel like it, they say, go look. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look, look, quick. It's like a ghost. If you don't look real fast, you're not going to see it. Did you see it? Did you see that? Oh my God, what was that? It's a ghost. <laughs> ah, have any of you guys ever seen ghost? I have. Many, 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 many times. Many, many times. Well, yeah, I've, I've seen them, but I've also had them do weird things where I didn't see them, but they did, did stuff that was, and that's not ready to come out. Okay. This one's not really ready. All right. I'm going to leave this one in here. Yeah. The minute you try to undo it, like if it's, if it's still like that, okay, that one can come out. But you want to leave them if they're still stretching. Now there's a few little teeny tiny bubbles there. Go off of autofocus, please. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so anyway, I love these. I think these are great. Um, teeniest of tiniest of little micro bubbles on the little corners there on a couple of them. But uh, here you go. Abracadabra. These were really quick and they're cute. And um, you don't have to fill in the dots now. So that's my favorite part of making a fast domino. Ta-da! They're still warm. Ah, so I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to uh, post this before these are even finished drying. Let me get some pictures of these. But yeah, they will stick to each other. Like even these little pieces like that will become permanent if you don't, if you're not careful. And you know me, I'm just like uh, going with the flow, walking in the mud. <sighs> okay. Oops. Yeah. I'm getting little pieces all over the bottom. I love you guys so much, so much. And I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever it is for you. And love yourself, take care of yourself, show yourself kindness and love so that it just becomes a natural thing to express it to other people. Because in this world, it's kind of dark right now and we're kind of lost and confused feelings going on. So the only thing that, that we can do, us, us down here uh, that are not in politics and don't have a billion dollars, there is something we can do that's even more valuable and that is show love because when you show love to people even to yourself to anybody to an animal to a child you should show love to a stranger and what you're doing is you're shining a light from your heart into the world and we need to shine so much light into this world we're never going to get rid of all the darkness we I don't know if we can. I don't know if we would want to. I'm sure that there's two sides to every story and coin. So, um, but we need to bring it into balance. And so please, 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 please be kind. Please love yourself. Know that I love you. I love you, love you, love you. And I want the best for everybody. Please take care of yourself. Make yourself some tea. Take a bath. Take a walk. Like I said, favorite thing, is, if you've got kids, favorite thing to do is hide in your car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love you guys so much. I'm going to let you go because I hope you enjoyed this. And what else do I have to say? Harley says goodbye too. Okay. Bye. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs>